Tonight on Paranormal Hunters, we're off to an internationally recognised site, Fairbridge Village. Opened in 1912, it's a huge property with 55 buildings, set over 30 hectares of natural bushland. My name's Ivan, and once again I'm joined by my fellow investigator, cameraman and tech man Darren. And also tonight we're going to be joined by Andy, he's going to come along and help us view our cameras, and hopefully we can catch something paranormal. Migrant children were sent there throughout the 1900s, but it wasn't until 1982 that the school closed down for good. Unfortunately, there have been some stories and confirmed reports of child neglect throughout the old school. So tonight we're going to be staying in the Clive House, rumoured to be one of the most haunted cottages on the grounds. Yeah, we've actually been here before, so uh, we decided to come back again because we did catch some really interesting stuff, but uh, we want to really blanket this place with a lot more equipment, so we'll see how we go tonight. And definitely tonight, there's going to be an opportunity if there's any spirits there to communicate with us, maybe tell us their name. Um, we're definitely going to be giving them an opportunity to tell us their story. Uh, there's possibly still quite a lot of residual energy on these grounds. So uh, it should be a great night. Yeah. Right, we're here in the Clive house. I'm just gonna walk you through where we got our cameras set up in this cottage to see what we can capture tonight. We've got a camera set up in the main lounge room area here. Last time we were here, we caught a strange light anomaly coming down this side of the wall. We also caught some strange light in that doorway. We don't know exactly what that was, um, but we've got the camera set up here again. If it happens again tonight, we're going to capture it and hopefully be able to provide some answers on that. If you come through here, I'll show you where the next camera is set up. Through here underneath the staircase in this room. Now the beauty of this is, if we do get some light movement or some shadow figures coming through here, we've got a camera set up, we're going to capture it and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to tell what it is. Come through here, staircase. Now there are some stories about people getting pushed down this staircase. I'm going to stand on here tonight and hopefully maybe feel some hands on my back, um, see if someone might want to push me down these stairs. Um, a lot of stories circulating around this staircase. So uh, let's see what we can pick up. So in this room here, we've got a camera facing this wall. Apparently this room here was where the cottage mother used to stay. We did feel a few strange feelings in here earlier uh, when we were setting everything up. Um, if we catch something walking out of here, we've got a camera set up with a laser grid. Now with the laser grid, it's going to be facing this wall. We'll shoot the laser against that wall there. If we get a shadow figure walking past or any movement, it will show up on the laser grid. And that, that's what we're hoping for. We've also got some trigger objects. Because it was a child orphanage, hopefully this teddy bear might uh, might encourage one of the child spirits to come and play with it. It might move. We've also got some toy cars. We've also got a ball. If any of the child spirits want to come and move the ball or kick it around the room, we'll pick that up on our cameras. So it's getting getting dark outside. We're just about to start our investigation. Um, let's hope for a for a busy night. sun's just gone down here now at Fairbridge Village. We're getting ready to enter into the Clyde House. We've got our control centre set up here on the deck and Andrew having a look at the cameras for us and all our equipment set up here on the table. Yep, I've got my screen here, I'm lost it up, I can see everything and if I see anything, see anything strange, we're strung to walk to here so let you boys know. That's great. dark in here, eh?
for those of you watching at home that might look light in our camera, and for those of you watching at home that might look light in our camera, but for us here it's pitch black and uh, it's pretty creepy. So what I'm going to do first of all, we'll set the REM pod up in the middle of the lounge room here. Uh, the REM pod picks up any electromagnetic field. Um, if a spirit is uh, coming through this lounge room, uh, they're known to give off uh, a magnetic field that this REM pod can pick up. Um, it'll also pick us up if we're near it, near the antenna, which I'll show you in a minute. So we'll turn this on and place it in the middle of the lounge room here. And you watch when I turn this on, it will start beeping because it's picking me up, as you can see. Now that's what we're hoping. If a spirit comes past here, um, it's gonna make this device light up and uh, that will be pretty cool. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn our handheld EMF detector on, see if we can pick up any, uh, any currents moving through here as we walk around. Probably a good way to start is we'll do a digital recording, we'll ask some questions and see if we can get an intelligent response and capture it on a digital recorder. We'll do a burst session, so we'll record for 30, 40 seconds. We'll stop and we'll play it back and see if we capture voice. So let's give that a go. Right, is there any spirits in this cottage that want to communicate with us? So there's a knock. So I'll play this back and see if we can Yeah, I hear the, yeah. hear the knock. Was that one of us? No. There's definitely a knock there. Is anyone in this cottage here that wants to speak to us? My name's Ivan and this is Darren. We mean no harm. We're just coming to document your existence and give you an opportunity to say something if there is something that you want to let the world know or Something you want to let us know? There's a knock. It's bloody warm in here, isn't it? It is ridiculous. I, I've never felt this so hot in my life inside at this time of night. It's Sweat. horrible. It's horrible in here. <laughs> I don't want to be in here. It's hot. Do you want to get out? No, I just want aircon. <laughs> <laughs> I just want aircon. It is bloody hot in here, eh? Hello, is anyone here? Sleeping, do they? No, I think that's the original mattresses too. Can't believe you talked me into staying here tonight, mate. Yep, that's where's your bed? This one? <laughs> I think that I'll sleep there tonight. That's what's crazy about this, mate. We're not only investigating, but we're staying here. We'll have to leave those cameras uh, rolling tonight, and um, who knows, you might even catch something while we're asleep. That's hoping. All right, we've come here. And we're giving you an opportunity to communicate. Now's your chance. Are there any kids here? Do you want to come and play? Darren and I are both fathers. We're good at playing hide and seek. We'll come and find you if that's what we need to do. 
All right, is there any children here that spoke before? Do you want to speak a bit louder into my recorder? You're welcome to take energy from me or the battery from my recorder. Just come and speak into it. Do you like us in your cottage? Do you want us to leave? If there's a house mum here that doesn't like me, do you want to push me down the stairs? Don, I'm giving you permission. Just push me down the stairs as hard as you can. What we're going to do is we're going to run a spirit box inside. Now, this sweeps through radio frequencies. I've got it sweeping in reverse. Uh, spirits are possibly known to speak through uh, these devices. If we get um, a word or maybe a sentence comes through, um, it's definitely odd. So uh, it's more often than not, it's a spirit trying to communicate with us. So let's go inside and hopefully this device will uh, We'll find something for us. You ready, mate? Do it. Hello, is anyone here? Come speak into our spirit box and let me know, let us know what your name is. So come in peace. <laughs> My name's Andrew. This me is Darren. My name's Andrew. With me is Darren. Tell us a story. I thought I heard a voice just in my headphones, so I'll have to review that later. Okay. Oh, I thought I heard a voice in my headphones. Yeah. I'll have to review it later. I think it's picked up on the uh, EP. Okay, it's Ivan, Darren and Andrew here now. Would you like to tell us your name? How many spirits are in this cottage? What's that? Noise. There must be a bug. I can just slightly hear it. It's like a, not a scratching sound. That noise. It's like a little scratching noise. No, it's only just started. That's always been on. That noise. Yeah. Is that you making that noise? That means yes. Can you do that again for us? Thank you if that was you. On the count of three. No, count of three. I want you to see if you can make that noise. One. Two. Three. Oh, what? what the hell is that? I don't know. I don't, it, it, this can't be that. It's been on the whole time. I've never heard it make that noise. No. I was never before when I stood over there when, when I was standing here. But I was Where is it coming from? Is it coming from... I don't know, mate. 
So we've come down to the Fairbridge Church. There's a cemetery right next to the church uh, where Kingsley Fairbridge is buried. Um, we've decided to have a walk around here with our spirit box and uh, see if we communicate, can communicate. Um, we don't really want to make a habit of hanging around cemeteries. We think it's a place of rest and we shouldn't be coming here to bother anyone. But um, we're going to look at it from the point of view that if uh, somebody wants to say something that they didn't get a chance to say before they passed, um, we will respectfully, uh, hopefully, uh, give them that chance to come through the spirit box and, um, and say something. So we'll give it a shot. Can you tell us your name? Are you at peace? No. Did you hear that? Yeah, no. No? Did you hear that? Yeah. Mm. Are you at peace? No. Oh man, I'm getting chills. Why aren't you at peace? Oh man, I'm getting chills. Can you tell us why you're not at peace? <laughs> what? Did that say Fairbridge? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what did it say? It sounded a bit like Fairbridge. Did it say Fairbridge? <laughs> there was a deep voice. <laughs> Very... did it, honestly, did it say Fairbridge or I, am I hearing things? I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Huh? It, it kind of sounded like Fairbridge, but... That's oh, look, we have to review that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going yeah. off the cuff here, but... <laughs> what? Did yeah. that say Fairbridge? Did you just say Fairbridge? Last time we were here, Darren, we were getting activity here. Just here, yeah. Can you tell us your name? Lisa! Lisa! Lisa? Lisa! And that was over two stations then too. Lisa! 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 Lisa? Lisa! Is your name Lisa?